Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Raptor X here with Good Clean Gaming RX. Welcome to your home for Good Clean Gaming. I'm dedicated to bringing you great games that are free of the profanity, nudity, and sexuality that are so common in today's games, and creating a safe space for gamers of all ages to enjoy great video games. If that sounds good to you, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, you know what to do. With that, let's begin today's video. G'day ladies and gentlemen, RaptorX here again with some more Valheim gameplay today. And to start off with, I'm going to need to improve my house today. Um, to do really much of anything as far as crafting goes, we need a significant amount more room. So I'm going to go ahead and see about expanding the house. And then as soon as that's done, we're going to see about finally getting some bronze weaponry. So I'm going to see about getting the bronze mace today and hopefully the bronze axe at the same time. And if we have enough of the uh, required bronze and materials, I'm hopefully going to make myself a bronze buckler as well, uh, which is a, a lighter weight uh, but much faster shield. Um, and it's it's quite nice for uh, parrying as it gives a uh, two, I think it's a 2.5 times um, bonus to parrying. And so it gives you a little bit a uh, little bit better chance of parrying the attacks of the various different creatures and nasties that we run into in Valheim. Let's see, can we drop this on his head? Oh, not quite. <laughs> there we go. Now what, actually, I'm just going to see if I can drop this one down. I did want to take a minute too to thank each of you for the uh, comments that you've been leaving on the videos, um, and just the um, you know the ways that I can improve uh, in my gameplay and make things a little easier on myself. Um, I've played, or I, I play with my wife on a uh, on an ad hoc server, I guess, just between the two of us. Um, and uh, we've made it to the swamp biome at this point. There we go. Um, in that world, uh, but obviously it is a little bit different doing things um, in single player. And so I've been... Uh, and learning a couple tips and tricks from the comments and uh, also trying to uh, get the necessary resources uh, for leveling up my character in just single player. It's, it's much more difficult um, to do as a single player thing than it is multiplayer because while you do have um, an increased resource cost as far as like getting resources for weapons and all that sort of thing, um, food even. Um, it's also much easier to, to go in and clear things like the burial chambers and the sunken crypts uh, in the swamp because there are two of you to distract the nasties. <laughs> Okay, so we've gotten a decent amount of wood here. I'm going to go ahead and pop back here. And we're going to see about uh, expanding out the house. My hoe back here. There we go. And uh, see about leveling out some more land here. Because I want to be able to properly build out my house I'm going to need to 
a little something to eat here first. We've got some honey in here somewhere. There we go, perfect. And you know what? One of the suggestions was to make myself a cape. Uh, which... Deer hide cape. Uh, we need some bones as well. Okay. Uh, let's take a couple of those. Deer hide cape. Perfect. There we go. Alright, so we can go ahead and put that on. Alright, and then can I see about upgrading? We've up we've upgraded the club all the way already. And we need a level three to be able to upgrade that further. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and oops, we'll put these each back. I don't need any of them with me currently. And I don't yeah, I haven't found any blueberries yet. That's one of my next things that I need to make or need to need to find. Okay, so with that, we're going to go ahead and uh, see about expanding our house somewhat. There we go. All right. Hmm. That's significantly lower. <laughs> Let's do this. That'll lower the ground. There we go. All right. And I think that'll bring it down to the level that I need. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll make this one out. about to there there we go and then see about setting up some walls here there we go go ahead and we'll uh, knock this this rock down quickly Get it out of the way. There we go, perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and put a secondary door here. Oh, perfect. Okay. That's one advantage of uh, of using the mouse and keyboard versus a controller is that um, your your placement is much more precise. Now let's go with there we go. So building is much faster and easier. So there we go. That one. Perfect. Okay, so we are now sheltered in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and We'll break down the forge here. Did I get everything from there? I think I did. And we'll go ahead and put up the forge. Oops. Side, there we go. Right there will work. And then we can go ahead and start making some things here. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll break that wall out of the way. And 
that way we've got access to both of these. Don't quite have enough. And we are out. Okay, we are definitely out then of coal. So we're going to have to see about. Um, There we go, perfect. So we've got some bronze now. Lots of bronze recipes. Bronze head arrows. Butcher knife, slaughtering tamed animals, okay. I want to see about, there we go, bronze mace. We need eight bronze to be able to do that. Um, so we are going to have to do uh, some more copper mining and for that matter, copper refining. So, I'm gonna go ahead and whew, foggy this morning. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll take this down quickly and put up, oh, there we go space. Um, Certainly cause perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead then and we'll put up our charcoal kiln. There we go. And then we should be able to go ahead and add a whole bunch of wood. At least what would we have, I guess. I need to see if I can find another troll. <laughs> so he can do some, uh, do some harvesting for me. Whoop, hang on. That wasn't very polite. No way. Thank you. There we go. Oh, another deer. Got him. Feel like maybe there was another one around as well, but can't see him right off the bat, so All right. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll take these over to the kiln and get them started. There we go, perfect. All right. I'm going to go ahead and see about making another uh, another chest just to put all of our charcoal into. There we 
go, perfect. Okay, so, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and head out while this uh, does some more refining. And we'll see about getting a little bit more copper. Because we're going to need quite a decent amount of that. To progress further. Ooh, it's raining. Nice. And we've got a, uh, a skeleton. Oh, come on. Got ya. Should have put my club on. Let's see here. There we go. Make that. Oh. There we go. Perfect. That actually does work pretty nicely. I'll probably leave that as a default weapon. I know I definitely like enjoy using them uh, once I get to the copper mace. Um, the amount of damage that that does is uh, is quite astounding. Yeah, you small copper ore. Okay. Alright, well I'm quite sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me mine copper, so I'm going to come back after I've collected a bit of this, and uh, we'll see what else we can get up to. Okay, so we have managed to get the large majority of the copper broken out of that particular vein. I, was, I managed to get uh, both 18 from this run, and I've also got another uh, 15 here. So we've got more than enough now to get. Uh, I think that's. I think that's actually enough to get both the bronze axe and the bronze mace. Um, I do want to see how much it is to get a bronze buckler. That's ten. So we may have to wait on that one, or we can potentially do the uh, the bronze mace and the bronze buckler and then get the bronze axe next. Um, I am going to go ahead though and see about doing that here. We've got um, 50s that allows us to make uh, 60, 64, so that should be enough should be enough to refine the last of that. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take this down and this should hopefully be the last time that I have to do this. Um, we'll go ahead and take the wood up from that um, and transfer both of those into there. And then I'm going to go ahead and we'll set up the smelter once more. There we go. And then we can go ahead and take from here our 10. There we go, and our 25, actually it's just 20, isn't it? Yeah, it's just 20. There we go, 20 of those. And then we'll go ahead and do this. And that's gonna get us 
uh, the rest of the way to being able to make our bronze mace. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll oops, watch that. There we go. Need to uh, we need to change some things there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sleep since it is about to be night time. We'll get rested. We'll get a whole bunch of the. Um, watch that. Have to put a little chimney into play here in my house because it's getting smoked out there. So I'm going to put one over there. Whew. Lots of that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and we'll put uh, another 10 in. Okay. And then another 20. So it is a 2 to 1 ratio of coal. Coal to tin. Coal to um, this refined material. There we go. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and we can make a five pack of bronze here. Same cost as it would normally take, um, but we now have nine of the uh, of the bronze. So I'm going to go ahead and see about making myself a bronze mace. We need four wood and three leather. Uh, we've got six leather here, and I believe I've got some wood over here. Yes, I've got plenty of wood. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to put a couple things back here. There we go. And let's put some of these random bits in there. There we go. Okay. Bronze. Mace, perfect. Go ahead and make one of those. There we go. And that is going to give us the ability now to uh, take on take on things pretty easily. Because uh, that bronze mace does a massive amount of stun damage. And you can generally stun lock uh, the baddies while you are out running around. We are going to have to get some more tin, I think, before we can, uh, yeah, before we can make the uh, make the buckler. So we're not quite going to have enough. Four and one, one in here. We might still we might still have enough enough copper, uh, but I think we're going to be one short on tin. Well, possibly a couple short on tin. Um, so I have to see about getting some of that. But uh, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put away the items that we don't need here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take the honey with me just so that I've got something quick and easy to eat if I need it. Uh, I'm going to leave the meat here. Though I will take take a couple of those and get those made up. Got some stone here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll put up another campfire here. There we go, and then we can make ourselves a cooking stand over it. There we go. Make ourselves some, some deer roasts here. Get ourselves some more bees. Potentially potentially plant some trees or something around here too. I think there's something about like them producing more honey if they've got a if they've got better tree cover or something over them. Oh, perfect. That's eight, so we can make four more bronze. Go ahead and take those. Okay, 
So I'm going to go ahead and we'll put my bronze mace right there next to my buckler or next to my uh, next to my shield. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go and do some adventuring. There we go. All right. So we've got to see about finding ourselves another burial chamber. Um, which raspberries, copper, copper. I've not set out any others, so go ahead and see if I can find one here. And we're gonna go ahead and eat quickly. There we go. So I've got the health and stamina that I need. We don't want to be running off into the black forest. <laughs> out of those. Oh, more raspberries. Get some of those quickly. Let our stamina recharge a little bit as we're doing that. We do have a rested bonus for another seven and a bit minutes. So we should be good there. See if I can find some blueberries, maybe that'll that'll help a bit. Okay, so we've run across the edge of that. It's not really a really Big dark forest here. Ooh, that was nice. So one shotting the deer there. Ooh. Grey dwarfs are much easier now too. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh. What a very small black forest. One shot graylings. <laughs> Finding ourselves another burial crypt here, hopefully. Oop. Oh yeah, yes, the skeletons are much easier to kill now. <laughs> Oh, 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 almost too easy. Okay, so generally, when you start running into multiple skeletons like that, it means that there is a, a burial chamber somewhere around. So I'm going to see if I can look. There we go. There it is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and pop into... Oh. Pop into there. And we'll see about clearing this one. Okay, so door there, door there, perfect. Go ahead and clear this one. Nothing there, okay. One circling core, very good. Go for the center one here. Very nice. Much easier now. <laughs> Couple coins. go very nice all right so we've got plenty in here no room for those Ooh, and we can see the older location now it's a little bit of a ways and we've we got more coins out of space for coins all right well let's see here we can drop the don't need those either let's drop those I'll take the coins with it so we really don't need the coins either, but it's fun to hoard a little bit of treasure. There we go, all right. And here. We 
bigger one. Generally like to leave the doors closed until I've verified that there's uh, that all of my open areas are clear. Yeah, okay. That's just about got the uh, this side of it done. I've got one. More skeletal remains, we can pick up the bones there. Always good for improving clubs or something there. There either. Perfect. Two of those took a little bit of damage, but really not a whole lot. And nothing down here. Okay, so uh, we've managed to collect four Sertling cores. So I'm going to go ahead and take those. Let's see here. Uh, I think we're doing. I think we're doing okay as far as health goes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll head out. We'll see if we can find another burial chamber. Still got a still got a decent rested bonus. Another minute and change. Here we go. Oh no, that's that's carrot. Oh. So carrot seeds. I'm gonna go ahead and take those with me. Got those, very good. Because those are quite handy. Kind of unlock uh, the next portion of the game as far as getting better foods go. Ooh, here we go, there's another one. Perfect, we want to go ahead and get all of those that we can. It's going to be night time here pretty soon, so... Goodness. That's that's a few more than I want to deal with all at once. If we can run over this way a little bit and... Roll them off one at a time, oh goodness. Alright then. All right, one more. Ha! Oh, my turn. <laughs> oh, it's amazing what having good weapons will do for you. Well, carrot seeds, we'll go ahead and take those. Ooh, and we've got some cool wood that we've got up here. Cut down some pines and see about uh, it's about getting ourselves some cool wood if we want. Just gonna see though if we can find another uh, another burial chamber here quickly. Or copper. It's worth my oh, couple of carrot seeds. Very nice. We'll go ahead and take those. Go. Right, and I could eat another bite. We'll go ahead and have our last uh, last jerky there. Ooh, we've got another uh, 
another spawner there. I could probably take it at this point, but I kind of want to see if I can find another uh, another burial chamber here quickly before we run too much further. Not seeing one right off the bat here, so. Oh, we do have the the ocean over here though, so I'm going to see if I can get. Uh, goodness, that's a little ways down. Uh, see if I can get a little bit more tin here, since we're going to need some of that. There we go. There's a little bit down there, I think. Lots of copper too. Uh, no, that's just a standard stone. There we go, there's some. Perfect. Alright, so that gets us four tin ore. Oh, hey, hang on. What we got here? Fine wood. Hey, that's handy. Okay, so I don't need the trophies right now. There we go. We've got that. I'm not sure what that is. Let's go ahead and break this as well. There we go. Ooh, a whole bunch of fine wood. That is very handy. Just couldn't get all of that. That's uh, that's got us twenty six fine wood. That is extremely fortuitous. So we don't have anything more buried in here. I don't think so. All right, very good. I don't see any more tin there, so I'm going to just go ahead and we'll take this load back to the house. Uh, we've got all that we really need to get quite a little bit further now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll head back there. I'm going to pick up, I guess, either when I get to the house or if I find another burial chamber, one way or the other. All right, well, we've made it back to the house. Um, still didn't find another burial chamber, so I'm going to have to go back and do uh, find another one of those. Or we can get a whole lot further. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put away the stuff that I got uh, for tonight. And uh, we'll see about picking up next time. And uh, hopefully at that point able to make ourselves a couple more things that uh, that are really going to improve a lot in Valheim. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. If you've uh, liked these videos or if you find something that I can improve upon, uh, feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Ta-ta.